it's Saturday at 6 p.m. And I'm sitting alone in my apartment at my desk staring at my computer. Like 99.999% of every other Saturday. And I went to get a pizza because I still don't know how to eat right. And, you know, Dartmouth is graduated or graduating. And this always happens when I drive in on the weekend to get my unhealthy food that I eat alone in my apartment. And I see all of them, all of the Dartmouth students in their really cute outfits walking around downtown, holding hands, walking down to the river to swim, walking to their apartment, sitting out on the green with friends. Stuff to do or going back to their dorm so they can probably do stuff later because it's a Saturday and I get my pizza and I go back to my apartment because I don't have any friends. And honestly, I don't think I've ever had friends, not like real friends. I mean, obviously I had like friends in high school and college, but it was the most superficial level. I, if I was in class, I would have people to talk to. People liked me. I don't think I was a totally unlikable person and I would do after school activities and people would talk to me and I had people that I was close to. But we never did anything besides that. I never did anything after school in high school. If I did, it was, it was rare. Like the times, like prom, Mom had to ask a friend's son to ask me, and then he left early with another girl, which at the time I thought was hilarious. Because I could tell a story to my friends, and maybe that would be interesting. I haven't spoken to any of them in person. I'll see them on Instagram, but I, we, we've never hung out with any of my friends from high school. Same thing with college. I mean, it started senior year, but, you know, like, the second people started doing stuff on the weekends, I was always alone in my dorm room watching all the other kids walk to the parties. I've never had a friend that I would just spend time with and tell everything to. I really thought I got close with Caitlin and Molly and Katrina and Aaron. And it, it's been two years. I haven't made a single friend. And there was a girl I met on Bumble, but I never went anywhere and she moved. And do you know what? It's my fault. Because... You know, I complain about not having anyone, but this the minute anyone does come to my life and I have a chance, I do nothing with it. She invited me over to her apartment. We ate. I could have talked to her, but every time she texted me, I would wait like a day to respond. And when we made plans, I would always feel awkward about it because all I wanted to do was be back in my apartment. But then in my, I'm in my apartment, I'm alone. So it's like... What the fuck is wrong with me that I complain about this and then I make no effort to try to change it? I mean, ever since I started applying to grad school, I gave up on trying to make friends here. And it's noticeable my landlord, Elaine keeps commenting on how all of her past tenants do things on the weekends, basically calling me like a friendless loser, which is true, but like, 
to hear her just say that to me was really hard. And that's why I feel like, you know, I mentioned earlier that I'm about to enter my mid-twenties and I feel like I have no experiences or social skills. It's not just that I don't have one, it's that I feel like I'm delayed. By the time I do make friends, it's just going to be so late for me. Yeah, don't even get into relationships. I mean, that's the same story, but I feel like that's a whole fucking other mess, you know? And everyone tells me I'm young and I have time. But it's still hard. <laughs> so gross. I'm sorry. I didn't. I knew I was emotional. I didn't think I'd crying like this. I just don't know what's wrong with me. That I can't make it work. That I'm just lazy when it comes to making friends. I just want it to be easy. You know... When you just find that person that you're with all the time, and again, I'm not talking romantically. <sighs> and it's been hard, especially with mom and dad, because before I would just talk to them because I had no one else. But now with all the divorce stuff, there's stuff I can't talk to them about and I don't want, and Travis and Kyle are too emotional and I can't talk to anyone. I just look at myself and I don't know. I'm wasting all these days. I just, I need to, I just want to, I just feel so lonely. I'm just so lonely all the time. And, but I'm also terrified of it, and I also want to be alone. Like, do I maybe I'm just meant to be alone? Maybe some people are meant to just be alone. And I just feel like I'm expected to have people. Like when I picture my future, I see what I want, but when I think what's actually going to happen, I see myself being that woman in her 40s who never found anybody, so I like, I don't know, like I adopt a kid or like get like IVF or something, like I don't, not that there's anything wrong with that, but... Like, I don't see myself meeting anyone and having the kids and friends. I like those things, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. And Travis and Kyle will. I know they will. And I'll be the older sister who's getting constantly lapped in life by her younger siblings. And I'm so happy for them and I'm not I'm not resentful. I'm happy they deserve to be happy, but you're supposed to look up to your older sibling. And I genuinely don't know what they have to look up to me for. They went to, they made more friends, they had more relationships. Travis is already in a better, higher paying job. They, they've traveled more, they've done more, they've experienced more. What do they have to look up to me for? Now I'm just 
pitying myself. It looks so fucking depressing. I feel like stuff has to change, but I don't know. Once I move back to Hampton, how to change it? How do we make friends? I don't know how to make friends, and I'm scared. I just want to, I want to run into somebody. I hate meeting people online. It's so awkward, and and you put all this into a conversation, but when you meet someone, you don't have that. Like I feel like I need to meet people. I need to meet people, but I don't know how, and I don't think it's possible as an adult to just run into people. <laughs> And I'm just gonna be sitting at home like I did all through high school. I think I'm a good person. I think I have a lot to offer. I just... I don't know how to make myself try. I don't know how to make myself more invested. And when someone texts, to text back immediately and to just be excited about plans if they're last minute. And to not to say, oh, I want my alone time when I'm alone all the time. I think this is why I made me drink a lot on the weekends. Because <laughs> I'm not drinking tonight. I had a Coke when I went to get a pizza. And they'll look at me. I don't know why I'm talking. Wow, this has been so great. <laughs> People keep saying it'll happen. You know, when I was in middle school, they said high school, and high school, they said college, and college, real life, and now I'm here. I think people are running out of excuses to tell me about why I'm stuck in this place. And there's no one to be mad at by myself. I can't be mad at other people. I can't be mad at the world. I'm mad at myself, because I don't try. I really don't and then I get so mad it's like I'm just so terrified it's the same thing with work I'm so terrified that I'll fuck it up that I don't do anything at all and then of course if you don't do anything at all then it happens so it's like trying to avoid that fear I'm just ensuring that the fear will happen I mean, when I move back to Hampton, I really gotta, I really gotta step it up. I gotta join all those student organizations at Simmons. I gotta get a job and talk to the people. I gotta be on Bumble BFF. I gotta join groups. I have to do, I have to try. And I feel like that's really going to be the test. I think the past couple years have been hard. But I think that if I don't fix it in the next year at, when I'm back in Hampton, I think that's just going to be who I am because, I don't know, I just I just feel like, like I, I said before, 20 to 23, early 20s, 24 to 26 or mid-20s, 27 to 29, or late-20s. I'm about to enter my mid-20s without ever having a solid friend. And that needs to fucking change. Either that, either that needs to change, or I need to just be okay with it. I either need to start making friends, or just accept the fact that I'm gonna be this alone person and just come to terms with being, like, the cool aunt, the way Janie is, to Ellen and all, and, you know, Kelly and Ryan and Connor, that I'll just be the cool aunt for Travis and Kyle. Like, I either have to change my habits or just accept the habits I already have, and I think I'm gonna give it another year of the first option. And then after that, we'll talk about acceptance. In the meantime, 
And I'm just going to sit here the rest of the night. Watch some reaction videos on Patreon or do more of my Wikipedia rabbit hole uh, research. That is for nothing more than my own boredom and curiosity. And then I'll get up tomorrow and continue to pack up my apartment. Yay me.